when something bad happens. Okay, I just gotta be calm. This very act of, okay, anything like that is forcing yourself into something. It isn't natural to calm yourself. My question is, how do I become calm in situations where I feel stressed out? Being calm is not the destination that one should look after. Because when being calm, a person tries self-control. The three words we've always heard put together is calm, cool, and collected. Now why are these three C's so important to people? It's because the person who's the most calm in a situation is the person who's the most in control. The person who hasn't lost steam. The one who has everything together more than the other. So we've always heard these terms used together and all of it means simply keeping your cool, keeping unreactive, staying unreactive no matter what happens. Then we try to use this in every part of life. I'm going to stay calm in this situation. I want to be calm. We make calm the goal. When something bad happens, okay, I just got to be calm. This very act of, okay, anything like that is forcing yourself into something. It isn't natural to calm yourself. It is very unnatural to calm yourself. A person may go, well, what do I do then when I'm in a stressed situation? Should I just be stressed and lose my cool? What do I do then? If you don't say be calm, what do I do? And I go, you're stressed. Don't allow yourself to move into another place of control. Because how did you become stressed? Some sort of control in your life. One is not stressed out for no reason. One is not stressed out because that's just how life is. One gets stressed out because of control is the reason. Because when you think about stress, it's pent up energy on the inside. That pent up energy, whether it be I have to rush to work, I've been dealing with people all day and I don't want to deal with anyone else. I'm tired of just feeling like I can't do something you start to feel like you're stressed out. I want you to understand that the stress came because of control. That's the reason why I showed up.
Feeling stressed has so many directions to let you know. It has many directions. It's not just frustration. It's not just anxiousness. It has many different directions based on the person. And why do I say it's based on control? It's because the opposite of being stressed is being relaxed. When you are in relaxation, you are free from stress. When you're in relaxation, you are free in your breath. Energy moves freely. When you're stressed out, there's actually pent up energy. There's control involved. Relaxation has no control. Stress has control. The one who is stressed is also the one who's controlling. They're trying to, in some moment, make time <clears throat> to get somewhere. Control time at some point. And they become stressed out. Maybe they're in front of someone that always rattles them in some way. And they just want them to be a certain way. And because they're not a certain way, they get stressed out for the person being the way they are. Also control. So if one wants to learn how to truly become calm, it's not to move from stress to calm. Because you're moving from self-control to self-control. You're moving from control to control. We loosely use the term self-control. If one is using the term self-control in a sense of being centered, that's different. That's what we're gonna talk about next. But I'm talking about in the sense of the act of becoming calm. Feeling like, fuck man, I'm just stressed out. It's just, it's been a long day in this. And I just, if somebody goes calm down, man, relax, they just, whew, they actually go into another state of control. They never really learn about what is stressing them out. They never really learn non-control. All they know is control, control, control. So being calm. How do I become calm when I'm stressed out? The first thing to do is to remove the want to become calm. Remove it. It was a guy who wrote me and said, hey man, I remember meeting you and you were just so calm. And I said to him, centered, but not calm. But thank you anyway, man. Because he gave me some words of appreciation. Then he said, well, that's kind of different. I can't remember his words exactly. Then he said, you seem real calm. Why would you say that you weren't? And I go, centered is the foundation. It's where you start. Calm is a result. If you try to become calm and then centered, it can work because you can go from control to no control, for sure you can. That can work. But that won't be truly calm though, when you first do it. And people actually don't know what calm really looks like, what it feels like. People actually don't know. Centered not calm. 
And this is what I want you to understand. The thing is to become centered. And as being centered, you will become calm. When you are in the core, there is no disturbance. This is something that I've come to see over time is when one is truly calm, there's no disturbance happening internally. There's many people who actually look very, very calm, like very, very calm. Many, many people who look like this. And it's interesting because you'll look at them and you'll just go, wow, they're just so calm. I just don't know how they could be so calm. And I go, yeah, they look like they are. But the one who's truly quiet within, who's truly undisturbed within, will be able to see that this person is not truly calm. They'll be able to see that. I'd look at someone who's quote unquote calm and I'm there in the space with them. It's very easy to see if it's calm, true calm, or if it looks like it for me. Because me being someone who's undisturbed most of my day, I can sense and feel if someone else is truly calm. Very much so. So don't become tricked by what you see. If you're someone who really doesn't know what it feels like to truly be undisturbed internally, you will see so many different things as calm and you'll see yourself trying to mimic it. You'll try to make yourself look like it. And it'll just be a facade. It won't be the real thing. Centered is what you should aim for. What does it mean to be centered internally? What does it mean to feel the no disturbance internally? Feel the quality of emptiness, the quality of silence. The internal and external quality of quietness. That's going to give you the chance to be calm. In a stressful situation, one should come back to the natural breath because once you come back to the natural breath, you can allow yourself to feel center. Particularly, allowing yourself to have a tension below the navel, above the genitals, in the center of your body, particularly allowing yourself to put your attention there while your awareness is on the natural breath. And something you will feel as a result is calmness, slowness, relaxation, quietness, silence. This place is the true calm. These qualities are the true calm.